It's the team I hate. It's the team I hate. We all know what that is. The Trailblazers can never figure them out. Let's get to this one. Indiana has traded away several top players, such as DeMontis Savonis, and has suffered several injuries, but the Pacers continue to hold their own on the offensive end of the court. Indiana averages 110.7 points per game and is shooting 46.1% overall. Portland's roster is nearly unrecognizable from the one that started the season. Leading scorer Damian Lillard is out injured, and leading rebounder Yusuf Nurkic is also sidelined. In addition, Portland traded away its second leading scorer CJ McCollum, and its current second scorer Anthony Simmons to the, is also sidelined. The Trailblazers have failed to cover the number in seven out of the last ten. Indiana's defense is allowing an average of 113.4 points and 47.4% per, per shooting, while Portland's defense is allowing an average 114 points and 47.5 shooting. The total has finished over in four of Portland's last five, as well as in each of the last five that the Trailblazers have played against the team from the Eastern Conference. The total has finished over in 14 of Indiana's last 20, and in 10 of the last 11 games that the Pacers have played on their home court. Gotta like the over here. Much better than a side. The two plays we'll go with, we're going Indiana Pacers minus 8, Trailblazers Pacers over 235. Matter of fact, I think I'll make that my best bet of the day, the, uh, the total. Blazers Pacers over 235. Again, if you want the side, I would go with the Pacers at minus 8. What say you, though? Let me know in the comment section. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck to each and everybody. Just get that cash. See you in the next video. This is Trending Rabbit.